Yo everybody, it's me, Sarah, your boy. Just kidding. So today I've been uh, thinking about what I could do for this video. And I've been thinking, you know, we need we need a date. And it's really difficult for lots of people to get dates. But for me, as a Christian, it's really difficult to get dates. So I'm gonna give you some pickup lines that I just found on the internet right now. So let's go. My personal favorite of all of them is uh hey girl. I guess I would probably say hey boy. Hey boy, what do the temple veil and I have in common? <laughs> We're both ripped. I feel like that one would just get him every time. Let's be like Noah and do this as a pair. That's a good joke. <clears throat> the word says, give drink to those who are thirsty and feed the hungry. So how about dinner tonight? I've been uh, reading in the book of Joshua. How long do I have to walk around you before you'll fall for me? Ha uh, ha. Uh. I know so many. Oh yeah. Do you need prayer? Just kidding. I shouldn't do that one. That one's bad. This one's good. This one's good. I may not have a job right now and I may live in my parents' basement, but I swear to you I'm storing up treasure in heaven and my mansion is gonna rock. That's a good one for when you don't actually have a life. So, it's your first date with this girl. You don't want to mess it up. As you're saying goodnight to her, you want to just show her how much you love her. So you look into her eyes. You are so unblemished that I would sacrifice you. Works every time. Unfortunately, I can't perform miracles and there's only enough bread and fish here for two people. I like that one. Obvious to me that you sprouted from the good kind of soil. Ooh, what? This is the best. My parents are home. <laughs> Wanna come over? Get it? Cause abstinence. Um, you're in church. That cute guy you've been scoping out is walking by you. You just look at him and you say, is it hot in here? Or is that just the Holy Spirit burning inside of you? In the Bible, they've got lots of books. One of the books is called the Book of Numbers. I was flipping through mine and I uh, realized that I don't have yours. And then, you know, like that, you float my boat. It's like, you float my art. I would not use that one. Please don't use that one. That's horrible. What? I don't understand this one. I know it's absurd, but every time I walk towards you, it feels like I'm being led to Bethlehem. Let me know if that would make sense to you guys. Let's say that everyone's going around the room saying what their spiritual gift is. You can put up your hand, you can say, my spiritual gift is my good looks. <laughs> I went on a beach mission, but all I ended up doing was mission you. <laughs> oh, puns are so good. I, oh, this one is the real deal man catcher. Excuse me, sir. I believe one of my ribs belongs to you. You can uh, tell how much, how well that works. I put the stud in Bible study. <laughs> that is like the most, um, conceited thing that you could possibly say. Oh, what? This one's good, this one's good. The Bible says to bring all our requests to God. I've prayed and here you are. So, um, don't forget to comment your favorite one. Not a cliche at all. And uh, subscribe if you think I'm funny. If you don't think I'm funny, maybe just subscribe anyway. And then just dislike all my videos. <laughs> and next time, I will probably be moved out. Love you all. Mm -hmm.